Sage Slammers. It is I, Josh. Cool. Here to bring you episode number 161 of the Backstage Slam Podcast. And, uh, wow. It's been, uh, it's been quite a week for wrestling. Or, so I've been told. I, I, I gotta be honest, I haven't really been feeling WWE lately. I haven't felt the urge to watch. I don't remember if we, I even watched Clash of Champions. I have absolutely no recollection of that event at all. And, uh, it's a little worrisome. I don't know if that means my memory's fading or it just was a bland, unmemorable event. So there's that. But welcome to the Backstage Slam podcast. Ben was given the week off to... Okay, he's feeling under the weather. I thought I could come up with a nice little, you know, funny little joke there, but... No, Ben was uh, feeling under the weather this week, so... He... Um, was given the, the the day off. But... Um, no, I'm not going to talk about the week that was WWE. I'm not going to talk about the headlines... Although I might get that get to that a little bit later, there because there's only one story that dominates um, my mind in this time of year, and that's when the Pro Wrestling Illustrated or PWI 500 is released. I know earlier this year we got a sneak peek, if I'm not mistaken, it was the top ten, but nope, this is the whole shebang, the whole 500 has been released and it is quite the list so we will get into that in just a moment but first I want to uh, go ahead and plug some Twitter accounts you can find me at skit comic you can find uh, old Ben what's his face let's see he changes it every now and then at really Yo, bro, MMO. Okay. <laughs> like I said, he changes it every now and then, so... I get to be surprised. And I don't want to be uh, caught off guard again. Because the last time that happened, I was directing people to the... Uh, the old old Twitter account. If I sound like I'm uh, stalling for time, that's because I'm just a little bit. And you can always follow the show at the Backstage Slam. And our English brother, Michael, is at uh, M. Sprout. Uh, what are the numbers? 21. That's what I thought they were. M. Sprout 21 at the Backstage Slam at... Yo Bro MMO and of course at Skate Comics. So how about we uh jump right into the PWI five hundred. Um you know what? I'm gonna start at number five hundred. We already know who uh who's the top of the list if you've been paying attention to the show. And I'm just gonna give it a quick scan to see I haven't I haven't really looked at it yet, so uh, we're gonna give it a quick scan to see some of the more recognizable names in the uh, in the 500 and see if we can find out you know, a little bit more about them well um, we'll start with number 500 Mr. Corey Storm barely ekes it out onto the list uh, uh, OVW is where apparently he's refining his craft uh, long enough to make it to the number 500 spot. So congratulations to Corey Storm for uh, making it to the 500 first time on the list. I know um, I did see a name that surprised me. Yeah, there it is. At number 453, another person that was not on the list last year, David Arquette. David freaking Arquette. 
is number 453 on the PWI Top 500. And, I mean, since 2018... He's had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 matches. 11 matches gets him in the top 500. With some interesting stipulations. A hair versus hair tag match. A death match. A death match, I do believe uh, we remember the headlines coming out of that. David Arquette. And he's winning. He's winning a lot. So, congratulations to David Arquette. Now, the thing is, David Arquette does seem to have uh, an impressive record coming up over the last couple of years. But still, there, there are people below that mark that have been doing this for a number of years. So is David Arquette... What itch is he trying to scratch by doing this? I don't... I don't know what he's doing necessarily, but... Uh, David Arquette, number 453... Uh, number 420, no, it's not Rob Van Dam. It's Cheeseburger. I consider that to be a little low on the list. But, yeah, I get it. He's not your main event guy, but let's face it. Nobody on this area of the list is or should be. But I'm just glad, at the very least, his impact on the uh, scene is being recognized and making number 420 you know one of those <laughs> numbers that people uh, automatically go to it's it's cool, it's cool. Uh, Carlito made made the list at number 412 he's uh, apparently been doing some work down in Mexico although uh, he's had, according to ProFight Database, two matches this year. And that qualifies him? Um, a few, a couple of House of Hardcore shows. Yeah, I don't know if, if this handful of matches should be enough to put him above. You know what? Even David Arquette um, seemed to have put in a little bit more uh, work uh, this year and oh, over the year. So to put Carlito at 412 above Cheeseburger, who doesn't seem to stop working. He's everywhere. And Brian Pillman Jr. is only at 411? Dude's everywhere. 